Hello friends. Last month I shared a video with you all where I went through all of the gear on these shelves back here and Raymond and I both discussed a few of the gear items that we would like to add to our already quite large collection. I will add a link to that video in the description of this video. Raymond and I have actually been trying to pare down this collection in the last year and we've not been purchasing as much but it's still fun to think about the stuff that we want and there are still things we want. So in this video, I have Raymond here with me and we will each discuss a few items that we would like to have. We each have our lists. And while some of this stuff is actual real life gear, some of it are things that we've made up. Pieces of gear that we would like to see from certain manufacturers in the next year. Before we get into our wish lists, I want to thank the sponsor of this portion of the video. KEH. KEH is the original re-commerce company, meaning they buy and sell used gear. I was a customer of KEH before I ever started working with them, and I continue to go to them to sell my gear and as a source for purchasing used gear. They have an incredible range of gear from cameras and lenses to tripods and bags and lighting. I trust their testing process and their rating system of their gear, so I know what to expect when the item arrives. Plus, when selling my gear to them, the process is ridiculously easy. So I can get rid of stuff that we don't use and then have some extra money in my pocket. And that's never bad during this time of year, right? In fact, KEH is actually offering a giveaway right now. You share what's on your camera gear wish list and you could win a $500 gift card to KEH. I have added a link to the giveaway in the description of this video. I also have affiliate links for you in the description of this video. Using those links to get to KEH helps KEH know to continue supporting this channel. I also have special codes for you in the description that give you a discount on the purchase of gear and a bonus on the sale of your gear. It's a win-win because I also get a small commission, which in combination with the KEH sponsorship, helps me to continue releasing projects like this video. So thank you to those of you that use those links and thank you to KEH for continuing to partner with this channel. All right, let's get to our wish lists. We have incredible cameras back here for mindful photography, but we only have one camera that is super good with fast action. All of our cameras can capture fast action, but only the Nikon Z9 is truly a fast action beast. And I would love to see a Nikon Z body that is as speedy as the Z9, but in a smaller form factor, like the Z7. Maybe it could even be less pricey than the Z9, even if it sacrifices some video features. And you know what, while I'm at it, I love for Leica or Panasonic to come out with a super fast camera with super fast autofocus for the L mount. That way we could grab from either our L mount or our Z mount gear for absolutely anything. The key with a Leica or Panasonic action oriented camera would be the ability to use the breadth of L mount lenses, including the Sigma contemporary lenses, which is one of the things on my list. We have a number of contemporary lenses, but I would love to have every single one of those Sigma lenses because they're awesome. They're compact, they have very good sharp image quality. They have great capabilities like wide apertures and the build is top notch as well. Literally, there's nothing wrong with them. It's only good stuff. One camera that you know we love is our Leica Q2. It's a fairly compact body and then it has a permanently attached lens, which reminds me a lot of a camera like the SL2 with one of the contemporary lenses. And what I like with these contemporary lenses, like I said, they're compact, they do the job great, there's no flaws to them. We can put one of them on one of our L mount bodies. I've got one on the S5 here, and it's a Q2 for the day. In fact, I like just taking one with me and saying, this is my, this is my setup today. I've got one lens, it's a fixed focal length. I'm gonna work it for everything that it's got, and I've got a great camera body behind it. Yeah, Raymond is talking about the newer DGDN contemporary lenses that are in the I series line, like the 35 millimeter F2 that's on our Panasonic S5 right now. I like these lenses too. I actually particularly want the 90 millimeter F2.8. It's just so small and having 
a wide angle like the 20 or 24 millimeter on my camera and tossing the 90 millimeter in the bag is an amazing combination for hiking or just walking around. Stepping back a moment to fast action cameras, I want a native Z-mount super telephoto lens for wildlife photography. I've been using our F-mount 200 to 500 millimeter uh, with the FTZ2 adapter and there is a 100 to 400 millimeter and a couple of teleconverters available. I've been borrowing them for the last couple of months. I am waiting for the Nikon 200 to 600 millimeter that is on Nikon's Z-mount roadmap, but I also really wanna try the 400 millimeter F2.8 with the onboard teleconverter. Of course, we haven't been able to get our hands on that lens yet, uh, but I suspect we'll end up renting it or borrowing it at some point. On the opposite end of the spectrum, as there's more and more lenses available for the Nikon Z mount, I'd love to see some smaller lenses, and this won't surprise you, that are actually like the Sigma Contemporary Primes uh, I brought up a minute ago. A lot of the prime lenses available for the Nikon Z mount are relatively large and very capable. Um, I don't care if Nikon makes more compact lenses or Sigma makes them, but I like a series of small, affordable, yet still highly capable prime lenses for the Nikon Z-mount. That would be nice. Something else that I would purchase from Nikon right away is a Z-mount vlog-focused camera body like the Z30 that I've been borrowing, but with in-body image stabilization. I really like the Z30 and the electronic stabilization actually does a pretty good job, but it really needs IBIS if I'm gonna make the purchase. Because I do a lot of walking around and handheld shots. It's just invaluable. I absolutely want to shoot film more. Every day, maybe every week. We have some awesome film bodies, but I want a few more lenses, and this is not going to surprise you, lenses not unlike the Sigma Contemporary Prime lenses. They're small, capable, sharp, well-built, and have character. Uh, the main attraction for film for us is we're not shooting fast action with it. So the capabilities of the body itself, as long as it takes pictures, the other capabilities are almost irrelevant. It's the film stock itself and the lens that will make the differences for our photography, not the frames per second or how quickly it autofocuses or if it even autofocuses at all. Yeah, Leica recently announced that they'd be making the M6 again and initially I wanted it and I'm sure it would be a joy to use with all those beautiful M mount lenses, but I do love my FM3A. Having one of the top autofocus Nikon film bodies and one of the top manual focus film bodies in the F6 and the FM3A we're really set with camera bodies. I want more lenses like our 50 millimeter F1.2 AIS. In fact, I really want the 35 millimeter F1.4 AIS and the 135 millimeter F2 AIS. We do have some other F mount lenses uh, up here that we can use with our F film bodies, but they lack the satisfaction in using them than, than many of those older lenses. And uh, the AIS lenses, they were meant for manually focusing. Uh, they have more tension in the focus ring, which has made a surprisingly significant difference to us in which lenses we pull off the shelf. Because those old lenses, they're, they're very tactile. They have that firmer focus ring. They're very sharp. And overall, they're very satisfying to use. They have their own character and personality as well. I know not everyone wants that, but that's something that we crave. There's a little uniqueness in everything that we pick up off the shelf. True. I would also like the 20 millimeter F2.8 AIS. I imagine being down at the bottom of the Grand Canyon with my FM3A, the 20 millimeter, the 50 millimeter, and the 135 millimeter. It would just be such a wonderful little kit. Of course, I would need film, which is actually on my list. We have a bunch of Kodak Triax, and we have some random film that's many years old, but I want a stack of other film stocks. <laughs> I'd like more of the Fujifilm Acros film, and definitely some more color film. I think that's it for me. Do you have anything else you want? Of course I do. We could, we could talk here all day about a whole bunch of more things that we'd want for these systems, entirely different systems, older stuff, brand new stuff, but when it comes down to what we would spend money on from a practical perspective right now and into next year. I can't think of anything else except for the items that we've already talked about today. Yeah, I agree. And you know what I 
really want is more time using the gear that we already have. Honestly, we pretty much have all the gear we need. I mean, of course, there's always something else that would be great to have. In fact, speaking of great to have, Raymond and I were actually talking the other day about some features that we would like to see in new cameras next year. And we started to make a list. One example is we think that all camera bodies should be able to be plugged in. Like, why do we need USB chargers? Why can't we just plug a USB-C cable into the battery? So in a few weeks, we will talk more about features that we want to see in camera gear next year in a video. And I would like to hear from you too. Tell us what features you think would be amazing to have in cameras next year. And I'll go through some of your answers in the video too, alongside ours. Okay, I believe that's all for today. Remember, there are some links in the description of this video, a video or two we mentioned and links to KEH, including their giveaway. Thank you again to KEH for continuing to partner with this channel. And thank you for watching. It was like this. Just.